Hi everyone, Greg's Kitchen Time once again, and today I'm about to show you how to create a fantastic little appetizer, a magnificent little hors d'oeuvre. I'm using my favourite sauce, sriracha sauce, but you can use any hot sauce in this. These are called sriracha palmiers. Now, if you don't know what a palmier is, don't worry, because neither do I. But we're going to make some. They're really easy, hardly any ingredients. Let's start making them. So hardly any ingredients. All I'm using is some puff pastry, some cream cheese. I've got one spring onion, shallot, scallion thing here. Some Parmesan cheese, my sriracha sauce, or any hot sauce that you want. And I've just got a little bit of garlic powder here too. Just to add a little bit of garlicky flavor because you know garlic tastes awesome. And I'll tell you what, I might even just throw in a little bit of butter on this as well. Anyway, let's start cooking. We're baking these in the oven today, so first things first, straight on here. 200 degrees Celsius, which is 400 Fabergingles. And let's clean some space up here because there's only one thing we need to cut up, and that's these spring onions, shallot scallion things. I just want really nice, fine little pieces. They'll add a nice little bit of crunch to it. Move these out of the way. I'll just throw a little bit of flour down here. Grab our sheet of puff pastry. That'll stop us sticking. Yeah, have a look at that. It's like a roller rink. Although I probably should have started preparing the mix that we're using to put on that sheet. But anyway, that needs to thaw out a little bit more anyway. So, grab yourself a bowl. I've got 250 grams of <laughs> cream cheese here. That actually looks like something I'd try and smuggle through customs in my small intestine. <laughs> or up somewhere else. That's 250 grams, so we just need half of one of these for this. So just half of one. <laughs> oh! It's like a little snowman. Now make sure your uh, cream cheese is nice and soft. You've left it out of the fridge for a while. That'll make this exercise a whole lot easier. I'll also add in just a little dash of uh, garlic powder here. Just a little bit, just for some flavour. Let me just push this down a bit and get it all prepared. Onto that I'll add about four teaspoons worth of the sriracha. That's about a third of a cup of, uh, what are those called? Spring onion shallot scallions. And we're using parmesan cheese for this as well. Yum. We need quite a lot of this. About three quarters of a cup. Oh yeah. You know this is gonna be cheesy and delicious with that much cheese and everything in there, don't you? So, we'll start mixing this together. Probably want to do it in a bigger bowl. I don't have that many bowls. I think I need to take a trip to Ikea or something, don't I? And get some more. And some spoons. I've only got two spoons. Oh no, I've got to add some butter. I better just add some, just in case. So that looks pretty good. Let me just taste some. Mmm. Oh, man. That tastes absolutely awesome already. So let's start throwing this onto our puff pastry. Put it in here. Now we want to leave, make sure we leave a space at the edge for rolling up. Once we've done all that, pick your halfway mark. I'll just put a little mark there so I know. And we just need to get this nicely, start rolling until the halfway mark. And then the other side, do the same. And there you have that. So grab your knife and we want to cut them into like half inch or one or 12 mil sort of pieces. So now once we've done all that, grab yourself a tray and put some baking paper on there. And we'll just start putting these. And now all we need to do is bung these in the oven. Make sure it's preheated. We're just gonna cook those for about 20 minutes or until that pastry is nice and golden. So we'll come back. Kitty cat, make sure you give me a meow when the 20 minutes is up. Meow, I won't forget. We'll come back and we'll tack on in and see how they turned out. I'm starving. Can't wait. All right, well, the 20 minute time has gone off. So, Kitty, are they ready? I think so. Meow. Right, well, let's find out. Mm. 
yeah. Oh, that smells so good. Oh. Wow. Right, so what we need to do now is just let these cool down on a wire rack for about 10 minutes before we eat them. Okay, well I've let these cool down and you can probably notice that they've uh, shrunk down a bit. They look absolutely awesome. Can't wait to try it. Let's give it a go. Mmm, that garlicky cream cheese. Mmm, that parmesan. I can't stop eating. Mmm. They last a long time in your mouth. If you do make them, I'd love to know what you thought about yours. Show this video some thumb and love. If you want to see more Greg's Kitchen, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time right here on Greg's Kitchen. <laughs>